Hey, welcome back to Guns Up Review. Today we're talking about crowded safes and optics and how to protect them in your safe. Come on back. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about how to protect your optics in a crowded gun safe. I love optics, but I'm telling you what, you can have some money tied up in scopes real quick. I've got kind of an example of a bunch of different kind of optics here of guns that I would have standing up in my safe. And there's two things that I'm concerned about in my safe. And number one is just, I'm, it's tight and I've got this scope banging into that gun. And you know, and number one, I don't want to put a dent on one of my wooden guns. I don't want to you know, mar the, the finish on one. And number two, I don't want to, you know, have an impact on a scope and knock, not, number one, knock it out, but number two, just damage it and put, you know, some scuffs, marks, all that. I, I try and um, keep my things looking brand new. So I've got a, um, a product, Kemimoto, K-E-M-I-M-O-T-O. -O. Uh, I'll leave the link for this in the description, but uh, on Amazon, Kemimoto sent me uh, some of their scope covers, okay? So I wanted to talk about that real quick today. And uh, this is a, a neoprene scope cover that you can put on your, um, you know, your rifle scopes to protect them from getting banged around your scope. The second thing, I told you two things, the second thing that I'm worried about, because we live in West Texas, and in West Texas, it is extremely dusty. And so if my rifle is in the gun safe, sitting up like so, the lens will collect a lot of dust on it. So then when I get ready to go hunting next season, I have to be sure and clean all of my lenses and, uh, and, and, and try not to scratch them and all that kind of fun stuff because they, they do collect a lot of dust. So one of these covers here is going to do the, both things. It's going to protect my uh, rifle cover from my, uh, my rifle cover, my scope from both dust and from impact. So this is a pretty heavy neoprene material. It's about, oh, probably a quarter inch thick. So it's a, uh, it's very spongy. It, it reminds me of, it's the exact same neoprene that you would have if you've ever had a pair of uh, neoprene waders. It's the exact same thickness, probably the exact same material. It smells the same as neoprene waders. So it's, it's got, a, it's a rubber with a fabric covering over it. And it's, it's elastic, it's stretchy. Now this probably stretches, oh, probably three or four inches. Uh, the particular scope cover they sent me uh, is, is to go on a 14 to 15 and a half inch scope. I've got a whole lot of scopes here and we'll try and fit it on some of these. Now I know for a fact that I don't have any scopes here on my table at least that are in the 14 to 15 and a half inch range. Most typical scopes, like this is a, uh, a loophole, uh, and this is my my favorite rifle. This is a Remington Model 700 CDL in seven millimeter mag. Um, I love this rifle, but this scope here, which is a four to fourteen um, power scope, uh, is about is about thirteen inches. Well, let's just measure it. I have my handy dandy tape measure here. Well, actually, it's a twelve and a quarter. This this scope is twelve and a quarter. So this is a, 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 a Variex 3, and so let's just see how well the scope cover will fit on something that's shorter than what it calls for, okay? So the nice thing about these is that it does have a, 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 a nice round end on it, so it fits real flush here. And the other thing is, is it has a little pull loop on this backside, so you can pull and stretch, okay? And there you go. Yeah, it's, it's a little loose, but it fits pretty good. And that's going to certainly protect my favorite scope from getting some getting banged around in my in my uh, safe. Let's try it on a different one here. Okay. This is uh, now this <laughs> this is a Springfield Armory scope. This is a monstrous scope. Um, let's see how long this guy is. This one is uh, I can't even measure this. This one's uh, well. This one's 18 and a quarter inches long. Let's see if it fits on 18 and a quarter. It has a big, like three and a half inch sunshade on it. So this is a big scope. I don't know. 
let's see. It's probably the longest scope I have. Okay, so the scope cover, well, it comes to the uh, adjustment knobs there. No way. Not going to fit, right? So it's not going to fit on an 18-inch scope. That's not going to happen. Okay. How about my 50 cal muzzle loader here? The pig whacker. Let's see. This one, I think this one is 13 and a half inches long. Let me measure it. Yeah, it's 13 inches long. This is a uh, this is a Bushnell scope, a little uh, three to nine. Let's see. This is this is a smaller. That, that my big one is a, a 40 millimeter objective. This is a 30 millimeter objective, so this is a much smaller objective. But I, I suspect it'll fit on here just fine. Oh yeah. Okay. So fits on that one really good. Um, probably the most expensive scope I own is this guy right here. This is a Schmidt and Bender uh, PM2, um, a uh, 5 to 25x with a 56 millimeter objective on it. Okay, let's see. This guy is 17 inches. I don't think it's going to fit on here. 17 inches. It's it's two inches bigger than this this scope cover is rated for. Let's see. Put her on there. Okay. Oh, it would, it almost fits. It, it, uh, whew, it would be tight. I would really have to stretch it. Oh, can I get it? Whew, I am to the end. That at least tells you how much it'll stretch. Um, I don't know that I would, I would, uh, that's too tight. It is very tight, but, uh, it, you could, you could stretch it on there to protect it. So it, it, at least it tells you uh, how much stretch that, that this uh, scope cover does have. Okay, how about my AR? Well, it's got a four inch um, aim point patrol optic on it. That's not gonna work. Or how about this guy? A little, uh, this is a little model 700 with a uh, Nikon scope on it. And this one also about 13 and a half inches. So the scope cover should fit just fine on this guy. Okay. Again, this is a 40 millimeter objective and it fits really nice on that guy. It's just, just right. So if you want to protect your guns, your, your optics, your scopes in a crowded gun skit, say if you want to keep them from getting bumped or you want to keep them from getting dust on them, pick you up one of these scope covers from Kimimo, Kimimoto. Okay. And, uh, Check out the link in the description. So, hope y'all have a great hunting season. And uh, thanks for joining us here on the channel. And I'll see you back here next time on Guns Up Review.